Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw a spring. Um, okay, let's, let me show you how to draw a spring with flat ends. Sketch. I'm looking for a 2D sketch, not 3D, XY. And I'm going to draw the wire diameter. This is called a wire diameter for the spring. I think you guys have done calculations with springs in parallel, in series. And also calculated the shear stresses, the free length, the compressed length, the diameter of the springs. And these are very important components in mechanical engineering. Let's say this is 10 millimeters in diameter. It's basically the same as a revolve function. We're also going to draw an axis. There's the axis. I want this axis to be to have a radius of 30 millimeters, which means the diameter of the spring will be 60 millimeters. So I'm clicking right click and clicking on finish okay springs are there to help us to get some stiffness into uh, components to damp vi vibration or oscillations okay it's also there to be able to use as return mechanisms where you have a cam opening the valve and the spring pulls it back to be able to close the valve in a motor car engine Okay, we use it in various places to be able to get tighter clamping force on something. And uh, this is how you're going to draw one. First of all, you're going to, uh, you, you've right clicked and finished the sketch. So you're going to go to create coil. And you can see that your shape is already highlighted there. So your profile, you don't need to select it again because it's already highlighted. Here, you have this little arrow. If it's blue, you go click straight away on your axis. If it's not blue, just click it. So you click on your axis and it gives you one revolution. That revolution can be switched based on this tool that you click here. Doesn't matter, it will still come out the same. So let's go to coil size. Your pitch here is your height from this point to that point, the same as your thread height. So let's go for 15 millimeters. So let's say 20. So from this distance to that point there, it's 20 now. How many revolutions do we want? I want five revolutions. There you can see that our pitch is in. We've got five revolutions. And also, if you want your spring to taper like a mattress spring, you can go type in an angle and it will taper as well. But in this exercise, we'll be using a flat spring. This you can test on your own. So let's say we want it to be zero degrees. Your coil ends. If you're going to make this a compression spring, your coil ends needs to be flat. Okay. Your coil ends needs to be flat. Now your flat angle depends on how where do you, you want it to be flat. I want it to be at zero degrees, <coughs> not 90. Okay. Your transition angle means it will be flat for 90 degrees at the top. Let's say I want it to be flat for 180 degrees. So there will be a flat surface for 180 degrees. We can do the same, same thing here. 180 as well. And there we have it. So we're having a flat surface for 180 degrees where the spring can touch. Normally 360 degrees would be fine. But then some of the spring needs to be shaved off on top. Let's say OK. And there we have our spring. Thank you very much. 
More exercises will follow during the course of this week. By Friday, you would have all your exercises that you need to practice. These exercises are just there to show you your toolbar, how your toolbar will work. Let's give it a little bit of color here. And let's give it a spin. Very light spin. There we go. Okay. That's the 3D toolbars. These are the most common tools that you will use. The others you will, do, you will use during the course. As we go along, you will learn how to use loft. And both is when you write into a part. And rib is a feature you can draw yourself, but it, you can also use it, uh, draw it manually, and you can also generate it via, via the tool. Okay, thank you very much.